there are some situations in which unit tests cannot or should not be used. The most notable case when unit tests shouldn't be used are times when it would be faster and easier to manually test a feature than to write unit tests for it. This can be due to a variety of reasons. Maybe test inputs or outputs change frequently for a certain feature. Maybe there are so few paths for a feature that running through a few tests will be faster done by hand. If unit tests have not been created for a product as it was developed, it may be difficult and time consuming to go back and implement them for all features. Making unit tests may be great for a new product, but incorporating them into existing products may not be worth the time or hassle. Products near the end of life rarely need much testing compared to new products in development. Creating unit tests that cover all or most paths for a function may require intense analysis. If unit tests are not exhaustive enough, bugs could make it into the production environment. One of the biggest benefits of unit testing is that it detects bugs early and consistently. If a feature is too complex to adequately cover all paths with unit tests, it may be more appropriate to have a tester manually check it. Since developers may overlook certain inputs or cases, it helps to have other roles or even other developers examine a function and create unit tests. 